Hey guys, in this video, I'll walk you through few easy steps to get amazing skin tone in Photoshop. The process is quite simple and the result is super amazing. And with no further ado, let's get started. So to prepare our image in order to color grade it, first of all, remove the obvious pimples on the model skin. We are going to remove the obvious pimples. For this black spot right here, we can use the patch tool to cycle around it like this and pull it to a neat area, just as easy as this. I'm not going to waste your time going through the manual method of frequency separation. Instead, we are going to use the auto fix FX action. So you click on the auto fix FX action and I click on the play button and just like that, your skin is going to be rendered flawless. Here was the before and here is the after. Take a close look. Here was the before and here is the after. So you can see with just one click, this auto fix FX is going to give you this amazing result. And you can still go further if you want to make the effect more impactful. You just right click on the, on the layer and then you flatten the image. And now you click on the auto fix FX again, and you're going to get this result. You see, the texture is retained, the image is sharpened, and you get an amazing skin. This is obviously too much. I just want to show you the extent that this action can go to fix your skin. We will reduce the opacity to almost 20, and then we are going to flatten the image for the very last time. So to see the effect of the action, you can take a look at the before and you can take a look at the after. This action doesn't deform your image in any way, it just blends the skin. So in order to support this channel, you get the action with the link in the description. It's just $1 and that $1 is to support the channel so that we can go on to make more freebies for you guys. So link is in the description to get this super amazing action that will save you time. It will reduce your retouching from about 30 minutes to just mere seconds, 30 seconds to one minute maximum. You get this amazing result. And the frequency separation action, which is the auto fix FX, is just a one click action to get amazing results. And you can see I used it on this image and we got this amazing result. So enough of that. So we look at the model skin and you can see that it's having too much magenta inside of it. So the first step to get amazing skin tone is to examine the model, the skin of the model, the color. And we can see that this one is looking reddish, deep red, which is as a result of too much magenta in it. And for a light skin model like this, we don't need this amount of magenta. That's why it's not looking as amazing as it should look. So to fix that, we are going to create a hue saturation adjustment. So when you create a hue saturation adjustment, we are going to target the color of the skin and the color of the skin is in the reds and the yellow. Majority is in the reds. So if you take this hand picker tool and you click on your model skin, you are going to see that reds is going to be targeted. If you click here, you see it's blue. But if you click on the skin, you can see that it's reds now. So any adjustment we'll make is going to affect the targeted area. So you can see if you move it to the right, you can see our image is becoming greenish. If we move it to the right, it's becoming more magenta going into the blues. So from zero, since we want to remove the magenta, we we'll just move it slightly to the right, just like this with this. Look at the before and look at the after. Just with this one move like this, our image is now looking more beautiful. The skin of the model is now looking way more beautiful. We are going to desaturate it a little bit with the saturation slider, just like this. And we can brighten the skin just by moving the lightness like this. So here was the before and here is the stage we are right now. Going further to adjust the tone of the skin, we use another super amazing color adjustment layer called the selective color. So we create a selective color. And you can see previously we targeted the hue, the red hue in the hue and saturation layer. So in a selective color, we are going to target the reds also. 
So in the reds, we can see that we have the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black. So if you move the cyan to the right, you are increasing the cyan in the model skin. If you move it to the left, you are increasing the reds. So if you move the cyan to the right, you are increasing the cyan. If you move it to the left, you are reducing the cyan, thereby increasing the reds. So for this image, we are going to add cyan to the reds. We are going to add a little bit of green because if you add magenta, so moving it to the right, you can see it's plus. The value is plus, meaning you are adding that value. Moving it to the left is minus, meaning you are removing that value. So we are going to still add a little bit of green by removing magenta. And we are going to add a little bit of blue by removing yellow. For the blacks, you see the effect. You can darken the reds or brighten the reds. We are going to leave this value at zero right now. So let's take a look at the general before and after for this. Here was the before and here is the after. To remove the effect from the lips, we are going to add a max. Now make sure your foreground of the max is black because we are going to remove the effect. Choose a brush. Make sure your brush is a soft round brush. It's currently a hard round brush, so you change it to a soft round brush. Uh, make sure your opacity is 100. The flow should be between 30 to 40. Now we are going to paint on the area we want to remove the effect. So you see the lips is now red as it should be. And here was the before and here is the after. I'll show you a quick tip to pop your image, to contour your image so that it looks more three-dimensional. So to do that, you are going to press Ctrl, Shift, Alternate E on your keyboard to create a stand visible. Now you come to filter, you come to camera raw filter. Inside the camera raw filter, you are going to increase the highlights and you are going to increase the whites just like this. And now you click on OK. Wow, this is obviously too much. So to target only the place that are supposed to be bright, you are going to create a layer max like this, a white layer max. And I come to image, apply image, and this effect is going to be applied only to the white portion of the image that is a brighter portion of the image and to go further in the target we are going to double click on our layer we are going to come to the underlining layer and we are going to pull this layer effect from the dark portion from the black and the shadow all the way to the highlight and you can see that this effect is harsh to make it more subtle and blended into our model skin you are going to hold alt or option key alt on your pc option key on your mac I are going to click, right click on this slider to split it, move it all the way up like this, move it down like this, and now click on OK. Just take a look, before, after. With just this adjustment I just did, we have popped this image and it's looking now more pleasing, more three-dimensional. This is a super trick, keep it in mind. Please like this video. If you have learned anything from it, please smash the like button. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section I highly appreciate that and also subscribe to this channel if you are not a subscriber because i'll be putting out more helpful tip tricks and photography tutorials if there's a particular struggle you are having in photography photo editing or anything in photoshop let me know in the comment section right now i'll be happy to put out a video on that in another video i'll create a lot from the adjustment we have created in this image and share it with you if you are waiting if you are anticipating to see that video please let me know in the comment section right now don't forget how we got this super flawless skin we did that using the auto fix fx the auto fix fx took our image from looking like this to looking like this it did what it blended the skin and gave us something pleasing something flawless that we can further work on so you can see before applying the auto fx after applying the auto fx and don't forget the auto fx is just a one click fix action i'm not taking your one dollar lightly i really appreciate it and i'm ready to make sure you get the best value out of it subscribe to this channel for more value packed photography photoshop tutorials happy to be part of a creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial